What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. Today, we are going to be rating the EVO teams of our viewers. That is right, we rate very unique teams in FC24, which for me has been the absolute best thing in the game this year. Hence the reason I've got a team like this. And I'm going to allow you, for those of you that don't watch the Arsenal EVO Road to Glory, which you can find there or wherever it is on the screen right now to click to go to watch i'll give you guys an update of how my team develops every time we release one of these videos as well by starting on my team and i do love my arsenal evo rtg if you guys are enjoying the content drop a thumbs up and let's get into team number one this guy's got his ajax pass and present or ajax evo team got a few uh price hato with 89 pace mate when he's eligible for another upgrade if he's ever eligible because of that pace, he'll be mad. We've got Casillas. We've got Gay at right back. 423 games. Love that. 64 composure. Don't like that. Decent play styles. Decent stats for a right back. De Sanders. Not bad. Tutalo. 737 games. Wrench looks good. Obviously, he would have been done through um, Pep's legacy, right? Three star, five star. Wow, five star weak foot on the uh, Mr. Divine Wrench. Bandon Boom and do another upgrade now, I do believe. Kenneth Taylor in there. Oof, bit of a stinky card that one, isn't it? Three star, five star is nice, but no play styles either on him. But these attackers, we've got Berghaus. 4 4. Nice stats. Nice goals and assists. We've got Akpom. Only 3-3. Three, three. I assume that this was the 85 that you upgraded. Um, that's a lot of goals and assists on this Akpom. Tiki Taka plus ping pass. Great physicals. Good dribbling. Good shooting. Good pace. Engine chem style on him as well. That's pretty mad. And then uh, Bergvine with the 4-3. How many games on him? Only 82. Oh, no. Hold on. That's Mikkel Tadze. Back at uh, Mets now, Mikkel Tadze, isn't he? 670 on Berg Bergvine. That's a pretty cool card. Really good, uh, really good stats. And then you've got Traore, Lassashen. Did he use play for Ajax, did he? Carlos Forbes. Isn't this the 16 year old kid, this Forbes guy? Born in 2004, he's 20. Damn, do you know what's mad, right? Compared to the Arsenal Evo players that I've got, your players generally suck. There's a few nice players there and such, but they generally suck. Mikko Tadze is probably one of your best. I bet he's benched now because he doesn't play for you anymore. Um, but all of your players are like one or two Evos away from being insane. What's probably on four star, four star? That's a really nice team. You got Red and Bappe for our oh, player of the month and Bappe, and then uh, ZH as well. Five star, four star on ZH. Yeah, nice Travella, Travella on him as well. That's a fun team. That is a fun team. That's nice. The Ajax team is legit. Can't lie, I, I rate that one. That's a good one. Well done, Martin Powell. That's a nice one. And, and guys, just so you know, I don't want to see Liverpool, Arsenal, City, United, Barcelona. I want to see creative, unique teams. I don't want to see the same teams that everyone's seen because they're all doing the big clubs. I do apologise, but I'm not interested in that. Oh, a Norwich slash Burnley team. Oh, general, general uh, rated players. You got, you've got... Wang Yu Joe up front. I've seen some really good paths on Huang Yu Joe that make him even better than this. This isn't a bad card though. Good pace, great shooting, reasonable stats elsewhere. Either four star, five star on him. Oh my days. Six foot three. All right, that's actually a pretty legit card. It doesn't have any physical, like, it doesn't have power header or aerial. That's a mad card. What have we got? We've got Nathan Redmond. Did Redmond used to play for Norwich? Is this a past and present squad? I'm not obviously, like, familiar with, like, Norwich players that have been and gone. Redmond's all right. Gabriel Sara. Uh, he is, he is past, is he? Wait, I'll tell you what. I, I bet you've got some decent stats on him. Not, not as good as I would have thought. Dead ball specialist is honestly so underrated. It's so underrated. Having one of those in, in your team has to be like a guaranteed requirement for your squad. 
even like on the shitters account, Wang Tender, a dead ball specialist, he's got 68 free kick accuracy and he just bangs free kicks. Who else have we got? McLean. And in defense, Giannoulis. Oh, that's a terrible card, isn't it? <laughs> I respect playing with that. Godfrey. Also pretty poor. Great pace, mind you. But old oh, is that Grant Hanley, is it? Yeah, Grant Hanley. Mate, the fact that you're playing with this team is uh is honestly brilliant. 277 games of gun. Got Sergeant. He's a bit of a beast, isn't he, Sergeant? Yeah, really good physicals. Who else you got on here? Pookie. Nice. Are you evoing him red or you just made him green to fit in with the rest of the team, perhaps? Buendia. Wow, I do, I do actually remember Buendia being at Norwich, yeah. Arsenal were going to sign him from Norwich, weren't they? All-star, four-star. That's a nice card. What else we got? Parishnacht. Borja Sainz. Omo Bamidelli. Oh, I, I probably would be playing him at centre-back. I can't lie. Yeah, you've had a lot of games with him as well. He's got good physicals with a Shadow Chem style, which you've got on him. I think he'd be really decent. Mamba, Thompson, Dollis, Ben White. I definitely would be playing him. What do you go? Do you prefer to go for the Norwich players or do you just go for who you want to play with as best? You must have a lot of games on Ben White. 207, fair enough. That's a fun team. That is a fun team. That's a nice one. I'm not going to rate it 1 to 10 because it's meaningless, right? But I just, I, it's just whether or not I like it. And I, I like that one. What have we got here? Um, what is this? A Sunderland past and present, is it? Isn't Salmon one of the meta ones rather than actually a past and present card? Is she 5-5 five, five as well? 4-5. Great pace, great shooting, great dribbling, great passing, very good physicals. Travella plus. I mean, it's a solid card. 123 games on her as well. Um... We've got Clark, also 4-5. Wow. Great pace, good shooting, very good dribbling outside of composure. Reasonable play styles. You've got Bennett up here. Only 3-3 three, three on him. Doesn't look too uh, too good. Roberts doesn't look so good. We've got Joby Bellingham. Or is it Job Bellingham? Hobe, Hobe Bellingham. Great passing. Great dribbling, very good defending and physical, and low enough rated to, to be eligible for another Evo, probably one more. You didn't see these kind of teams in Champs? Yeah, me neither. But you can see, like, people are playing with these teams. Like, we're seeing hundreds of games on these players. It's not like, okay, 35 on, on him. 111 on this guy is, is mad. Like, any player, like, obviously to Evo the player is going to require some uh, some games. But anyone that's got like more than a hundred games on a player, I'm all about that. So this guy's gone for a few of the meta ones. He's got meta Alaba, meta Salmon, and meta Babajide. I think she's absolutely broken as well. Yeah, she's got incredible dribbling, incredible physicals, incredible passing, very good shooting in the right areas, great pace, four star, five star, and Travella plus. So this guy's gone for a bit of a mix. He's gone for the uh, Rafael Varane as well, but mostly has the uh, the team. Probably, we're going to look at the games here and there's hundreds on here. Yeah, th this is a bit of a bit of a sneaky one. He's, he's tried to convince us that he's using uh, he's using just his Evos and he's got his, uh, his actual team on the bench there. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, but still, nonetheless, a really nice squad. And I'm sure once he gets somebody that's eligible to like be in the team, he probably puts him in there. It's not, it's not a terrible way to do it. Keeps it competitive and still lots of fun. All right, what's this guy got? A Greek team. Damn. First of all, how many uh, how many games are we looking? All right, I'm all about a team like this. Hundreds and hundreds of games on so many of the players. He has got Du Vikas up front, three star, four star. That is an incredible card, to be fair. A little heavy on dribbling. But great physicals, great shooting, great pace. 
three star, four star. We've got the player of the month, Pavlidis. We've got Constantelius, four star, five star. Oof, that's a tidy card, isn't it? Travella plus on him as well. That's a really tidy card. You've got Zolis. Man, for, like some of these cards are real cool. Four star, five star on him as well. Some really nice stats on him. Teopsis. He's a Cardiff boy, isn't he? That is a mad card. Two star, two star. Really sucks. <laughs> but physicals, defending, good agility and balance, decent passing, great pace. Decent play styles as well. Dika, no, he he looks uh he looks quite poor. Yeah, he's not the best. Then you got Rota, Hatzi, Hatziakis, Yakos. Damn. See, this is why I like making videos like this. This is a player, man. What's his free kick accuracy? 44. Unlucky. He doesn't have good defensive play styles, but great pace, very good passing, very good dribbling, great defending, and good physicals. And probably the only time you'll ever get to use a card like that. Mavropanos, bit of a beast card this one as well. Great pace, great defending. Apart from defensive awareness, which is quite important. Very good physicals. Decent play styles. Jimmy Kassa, left back. And then on the bench, Sari, Giacomakis, Ustias. Hey, some of these names are wild, aren't they? Hey, look at this team. Mate, you've got to get back a set ass into the team. Disrespecting the GOAT. Funtas. Man, that, that is a really fun team. And you can tell as well, he has been committed to this team because every single player is Greek and Evoed. I love that. I love that. I'm a big, big, big fan of that. GG's, man. This is Greece. This is Greece. That is a nice team. Best one. Yeah, yeah. that, that probably was the best one so far. Because he's obviously been working on that since the game started. And they're the ones that I personally connect with a lot more because obviously the Arsenal Evos has been since the game started as well. So the reason why we're doing this um, this today... Oh, is this the Holston Kiel guy? The reason why we're doing this one today is because I want to have a look again at how good they are post-team of the year. So this guy, guys, started with his Holston Kiel team. I think we actually looked at him in the first video... No, zero games. 28 games on Becker. 162 on this guy. Vezic. He's pretty good. 37 on Schultz. 5 on Roth. 492 on Remberg. 2 star, 3 star. But a decent DM. Good passing. Good passing play styles as well. But uh, Simakala, 4 star, 5 star. Pretty decent stats on him. Very nice play styles on him as well. Machino, the three-star, four-star. He looks like your go-to guy there with all of those goals. Yeah, great pace, great shooting, good dribbling, great physicals. Very good play styles. Very good play styles. That's a really fun card, that one. Ishla. Christ. Damn, he's in progress as well at the moment. That's mad. That's a good card, isn't it? That's a really good card. That is an 84 rated card. <laughs> That's mad. That's a really nice one. Then Mies, not too many games on him. Oh, how come we don't use this guy? 88 rated, 3 star, 4 star. Great dribbling, great passing, good shooting, decent pace and physical. Dead ball specialist, nice play styles. He's decent. And then you've got a lot of the low-rated guys. I like teams like this, man. I, I, I think last time we spoke to you as well, I don't, I, I don't think the team was... I, I, maybe you're not the same guy because I think the other guy had like an insane player already like a month or two ago. But that is a really creative, fun team. So is this the team? Oh, it is the same team. This this was his team before. Josh, you're just going to have to edit this one in for the video, but I could show the stream. This was his team before. It is a big upgrade from then, to be fair. You've got plus 10 on your left wing, loads on your striker, three on your right wing, 10 on your cam, 10 on your center mid. Yeah, nice. Big, big upgrades there. Big upgrades. All right, what's this guy got? Southampton. Southampton. 
He's got Fraser at left wing, three star, five star. Like genuinely, where are these people in champs? <laughs> I mean, that's a fun card. We've got Adams looks half decent, eighty eight and eighty eight. Armstrong looks right. Adams is uh in play. We've got Armstrong here. That's a really fun card. Three star, four star. But he has dead ball specialist. Carl Walker Peters at right back, decent pace and defending. Taylor Harwood Bellis at centre back's not bad. Olgate special and Manning as well. Not very good. Good passing and dribbling on Manningham. They can't qualify. Ah, oh, you could qualify with a team like this easily. Not a bad team. There's some nice players in there. I bet this this is again like I'm not going to say you've got loads of gains on Coman and Van Dijk. Van Dijk, you have. I obviously would never blame someone for using Van Dijk over like Harwood Bellis, right? Or Holgate or whoever you're using him over. But this is where I wish there was more from EA with um, with Evos because Van Dijk already exists in the game. So why not let him get an, a card Evoed up to a Van Dijk calibre? Because you could just go and buy him anywhere off the market, couldn't you? He has got a Danish team, mostly anyway. There's some nice players there, isn't there? At 88, that Hoyland there. Have an Alaba and Christensen, though. Boo! I suppose Christensen you can have because he's a correct nation. Holy moly, that is a fun card. Look at the For an 87 rated, that is outrageous. Can we see his uh, skill in his weak foot, please? Alaba red and white flower accounts. So he's got Travella plus three star, four star. Go back to the uh, go back to the in-game stats for me, please. Guys, an 87 rated base card with 93 pace, 93 shooting, 93 dribbling, and 91 passing is absurd. Okay, the pace split is a bit weird. Dribbling's incredible. Shooting's incredible because who cares really about volleys and penalties being that low? Passing is incredible because he's got 84 free kicks, which doesn't matter. 93 stamina. That is an insane card. You, you, you will be lucky to be able to Evo him again anytime soon. But if EA ever do just a max rating requirement only... Oh, he could be insane, couldn't he? He could be insane. GG's, man. That That is a hell of a nice team. and like Probably the best player we've seen so far. We've got an Argentine Evo. That's a fun squad. We've got here Gonzalez. He needs, needs the upgrades coming on that one. He's got Hakuna Matada. Yeah, plus the hair trait as well. I love I love Acuna. Only 57 games on him, mind you. Barnacho, lots of uh, stats. Five-star weak foot. You need to get Traveller plus on him, really, don't you? A little low on physicals. Has he got a uh, Relentless? He has not. That's a good card, though. That's a good card. Um, got Dominguez. He was one of the best options for whatever Evo that was that came out, wasn't he? Five-star weak foot. High, high work rates. Great pace, great defending, great physicals, good dribbling outside of composure, good passing. Nice play styles, including Relentless. Got Molina at right back. What was he eligible in? That's a nice card. Otamendi. Jesus Christ, up to an 89. His pace is stinky, but passing, dribbling, defending and physical, very good. Wow. Other than the really... <laughs> other than the play style you really want... He's got five of the six defensive play styles. That's pretty legit. Now, the question I suppose I have is, do you actually use these players or is it just something you're building along the along the way? Yeah, it looks like you've got some games on them, at least. 228 on McAllister. Three-star, four-star. Really nice stats on him. Not the best play styles, but... 307 on Dominguez. Gonzalez, you're just starting out now. Loads of games on Martinez and loads of games on Garnacho. I really like that team. We don't see nation teams too much. Oh, look at that. You've got Foyth as well. Pezella. Oh, he's just way too slow, isn't he? 
What I'm, do you know what's going to be interesting, right? Do you know what's going to be interesting? Now that people know about this, like, glitch to kind of, like, get better Evo cards, it is going to be interesting in about four weeks' time to see the sort of uh, teams people have got once they've abused this glitch. Oh, nice. You're doing uh, Kansas. Nice. It does look like you probably started, you probably, like, made your change a little bit late. But I respect the fact that you've gone for it and started committing for it. Johnny Russell, what beast, mate. Three star, four star. Great pace, great shooting, very good passing, good dribbling, great physicals. Very nice play styles as well with the finesse shot on him. That's a fun card. We've got Pulido. How much on him? 113 games. Nice. Nice play styles on him as well. Then left wing, you've got Saloy. Then we've got Hernandez. Quite a nice card. Got to bear in mind, most of these cards would have been silvers, maybe even bronzes. That's a fun card. Three star, four star. Very good passing, very good pace. Not the best play styles, but that, that's a really fun team. you got some like some other kind of... Looks like you look at that, you've got two Fiorentina players, two Napoli players, two Arsenal players. You've got Julian Alvarez and... And the OP Pedro Neto. Got an American team. Only ten, only a ten man. Let's let's pop. There you go. That's better. Much better. There we go. Right. So you got Purse, Morgan as a red, Smith as a red. Oh, look at that. He's got. Oh, he gets. He gets. He gets fourteen plus wins, guys. He gets fourteen plus wins. Go on, lad. You've got Adams. Oh, that's a hell of a card. Great passing. Oh, my days. Can't score for Toffee with him, but that is a fun card. That's a good one. Sanchez in at Cam. That, that's like one Evo away from being insane, isn't it? Got Wolf. Three star three. Wow, 700 games on him. That's crazy. I respect that greatly. Well done. Jorginho Dest. See what I mean? Like, if you're doing, like, if you're going to, if you're now going to commit to an Evo team because you're watching this video or watching this stream, you get players like Dest. Superb, right? Until you can get, like, a better, but like, a better left back that makes more sense, Dest is absolutely fine. Brooks, 180 games on a guy of 63 pace, mad. Richards, Jesus Christ. Any, wow, nearly 700 games on him. Jesus Christ. That's an insane defender. Great pace, 99 sprint speed. Great passing, very good dribbling for a centre-back, I suppose. Great defending and physical. Only jockey plus as a defensive play style, but that's very good. And then at right back, Hollingshead's got one of the best uh, Evos in the game, actually. Five-star weak foot. Yeah, look at that. That is a cracking card. Doesn't have the best play styles, but great physicals, great defending, good dribbling, very good passing, good shooting for a fullback, and great pace. Tillman, Dempsey, got the Evo on him. Balogun. Eh, all right, Balogun and a Pulisic. Zimmerman. Isn't there an American centre back now that's got like a mad path? Hey, that's a nice team. I like that. I like that. He has got a Fenner team. Batshuayi. Damn. Five star, five star. Not the best play styles. That's a really fun card for five star, five star. Got King as well. I think he's got pretty good, uh, pretty good card as well, hasn't he? Yeah, not bad on him either. Got Lincoln. First of all, great name. Five star, five star on him as well. Hey, those passing and dribbling stats are mad. El Crespo. Decent ish card. 381 games on him. Dar Aziz. There's a lot of time injured him, didn't he? 137 games on him. I like this team. Vecchi, Szymanski. Oh, Szymanski up to an 87. Three star, four star. Loads of. Oh, you probably got him out of the team for the guy that you're evoing right now. That's a fun card, isn't it? He doesn't have many playstyles, though. 
Chengiz under Jekko, Kent. This is the sort of team, genuinely the sort of team, right? Where I feel like, come like the end of the game cycle, you're going to have a team that you're loving playing with. Four star, five star on Kent, three star, five star on Jekko. Like, there will, like, you will just get multiple opportunities to continue upgrading this team to the point where you're like, all you could do is play with your Fenner team. And how cool is that going to be? I was gone for a South slash Republic of Korean team. There's a common theme with these teams that some of the attackers are insane, then the defenders are multiplying. Yeah, it do does seem to be the way, right? You get an insane attacker. Insane attackers in general. But Huang Yu Zhou, look at that. That is a crazy card. Wang He Chan, four star, five star. In progress evolution as well. Might be going red though, rather than anything else. Ridiculous card as well. Then you sometimes get like one or two really good midfielders and then almost no good defenders unless they fit into like Pep's legacy. That's a quality card. Kim Min Jae as well, 86 rated. 345 games that's really cool aren't you a bit gutted that he's not got a team of the year he might get it's not red is it what is it darling what you what have you got uh huang yu joe uh, sorry not huang yu joe huang he chan in what's really fun oh that's a fun card isn't it damn some good play styles hey this is like shit as v2 isn't it yeah you might you might get like a team of the year honorable mention for kim min jay get in progress finisher what made you go for the Korean team? Are you Korean? So you got Sol Yong Vu. Sol Yong Vu. Absolute goat on uh, So Rare Him. Wang Hee Chan. Oh, you got Yoon Bit Garam. Absolutely goated. Yeah, once Wang Hee Chan is finished, look at that card. Oh my days, that's insane. Mate, Yoon Bit Garam. I said, oh, are you waiting on uh, Yoon Bit Garam to finish? Are you? Yeah, you're waiting now because you don't want. Oh, you already have a play style plus on him, actually. You're not. That's a really good card, isn't it? Great dribbling and passing. Should be eligible for other upgrades quite quite comfortably as well because he hasn't got like too great of stats. That's pretty legit. GG's, man. That's a really nice team. That is probably my favorite team so far, to be fair. All right, we've got the Leicester team. We've seen a few Leicester teams, actually. They're quite a popular choice. Ricardo Pereira, very nice. Walt Faze. 400 games on him. Jesus Christ, fair enough. Like, honestly, respect for playing 400 games with him. Doyle. Oof, oh, my days. Six foot two. Two star, three star. Insane passing for a centre back. Insane dribbling. Good pace. Great defending. Great physicals. Not the best play styles. Justin at left back. Dewsbury Hall. Surprised he hasn't got an informal three recent like this year. And DD in there. Great there. He's got Dead Ball Specialist. That's a, that's a decent card. Nothing crazy on him. 4 4 is quite nice, though. Atawu Isahaku. What a card this is. Travella, 4 star, 5 star. Good pace, great shooting, great passing, great dribbling, good physicals, great play styles. You've got Gary Lineker and then Jamie Vardy having a party. 5 star weak foot. Great pace and shooting. Very good dribbling. Little low on stamina. But that's what you got bench for, isn't it? Ikenaccio, Cannon. Oh, Cannon looks pretty decent. That is all I'd say, to be fair. Mavadidi, we've seen a few of him today, to be fair. Nice team there. Nice. The rest of the team's solid. What do we got here? West Brom team. They love it. Looks like you might have started quite recently with how low rated some of these are, but I don't actually know how... Damn, look at that. Four star, five star. I don't know how low they started. Hey, that is a cracking card. Little low on stamina. But that is a really good card. Got uh, Josh Meyer. Very nice as well. Three star, three star. High low work rates. Not the best play styles, but a lot of good return on him as well. And then Wallace. Four star, five star on Wallace with Travella. Mate, the amount of cards we're seeing with four star, five star on Travella <laughs> is mad, isn't it? That's a really fun card. Relentless as well. And whip pass. That is a really fun card. Those Travella whip passes. Swift, not so great. Mao at. 
Good play styles. Decent card on him. Really nice physicals as well. Yoxalu, Taylor, Reach, Furlong. Good bench as well. I like the fact that you've like obviously been working at this team for a while. I do like it. Hanu in there as well, the ex-Arsenal legend. Now we'll do one post team of the year and then we'll start doing them maybe like every sort of like seven to ten days so that we can get a good mix of squads and it'll give people reason to maybe like finish off their Evos and things like that. And we've got Van Bergen, FC Trente. That's a really good card, isn't it? Four star, five star. Great goal and uh, assist return. Four of the five play styles in shooting. Not really the best card. Going to be very easy to upgrade him even more, which is quite fun. So you've got an Eredivisie team. Eric. You've got Pai Chow, four star, five star. Even him, he's not the best, is he? Eating Willemson. Now that is a cracking card. Three star, four star only, but six foot four. 99 pay, 99 sprint speed anyway with the with the uh, shadow. Very good shooting for a centre midfielder. Very good passing, very good dribbling. If a little low on reactions and composure. Great stamina and strength. Decent defending. Not the best play styles, but also low enough that he's going to be good for another Evo, man. We've got Kyolo. Karsdorp. Karsdorp. All goes in at centre back. Good passing. Good defending. Good physical. Decent pace. We've got Gish Mal. Gish. You are Gish. You are Gish. Are. <laughs> Two star, four star. Not bad. Not bad. Good for the chemistry as well. Relentless plus and anticipate. We've got Dan Juma. Not a bad option, Dan Juma. A lot of games on him. Four star, five star as well. Some really nice stats on him. Yeti Mina, Dirk Proper, a bit slow. Rotz, not bad. Riga, Stein, and Vlap. What, what I like about these kind of Evos, even though I don't like it for myself because I'm impatient and want it now, but when I look at someone like Rotz, it's like this guy is going to be good for like another two or three Evos over the next like coming weeks or month or whatever. And he's going to be insane when he gets Evoed up. But when I look at my own players, I'm like, I can't wait. I can't wait. I just want it now. I just want it now. That is going to unfortunately have to be the last one for today. Guys, thank you as always for letting me on your accounts. Let me know what kind of Evo team you've got down below in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching, of course. And I will see you next time. Peace.